Students get as excited as I do by the many ways that technology encourages and facilitates creation. They feel empowered and engaged, not just to create their own content, but to mash up, remix, and repurpose the wealth of open media and content on the web. Synthesis, the act of creating, combining, and adapting, is an integral part of Bloom, project-based learning, and the NETS-S standards. So I always attempt to bring the tools of digital creation and production into my social studies courses. One of the latest digital synthesis lessons I'm developing for my class centers on George Orwell's dystopian classic 1984 and the parallels between the book and our modern surveillance society. Students are put in groups of three. They will all share responsibilities in a grade for this project, so to encourage distribution of labor, a Google spreadsheet is created to log their work time and tasks. Students will also complete a survey regarding their partners at the end of the project. Students extract audio clips regarding the surveillance technology of 1984 from a public domain audiobook version available at archive.org. Then, using the program of their choice, students create a video presentation using the clipped audio and other Creative Commons public domain or self-created music, images, and video. These video presentations could be created in slideware like OpenOffice and PowerPoint, video editing software such as Vegas or iMovie, or animation packages such as Flash. That choice is dependent on the goals of each group and their technical abilities. All completed projects are uploaded to the web for a round of comments and analysis by the class. I love this project. It requires not only higher level thinking about the book 1984, but involves problem solving, research, and resource discovery. It isn't just a book report or a topic essay. These are the sorts of projects that energize the students and me. The content of the book, along with the lessons learned in developing the project, will stay with the students long after this project is complete.